Okay, we are live again. Good morning, guys. We had a little problem with the internet, so um, I got most of the devotion out, but I worked too hard to not give you all of it, so I'm coming back, and we're going to try it again. So it is about six minutes after 10 a.m. this Tuesday morning. It is June 12th, 2018. And we're looking at a, a church hymn that, again, I've never seen or heard of um, until today. And this was written back in 1907 by Charles E. Orr, O-R-R. -R. And the title of this hymn is What Jesus Is to Me. So we are going to look at this verse of scripture and then we're going to go right into the um, the devotion good morning everybody so again if you're not seeing you're not having a stroke Scott this is me again <laughs> so I kind of lost internet connection so I figured I'd try to come back on and finish this devotion up morning Tony Carr how you doing brother so let's get right into it this is what Jesus is to me and the song was written in 1907 by Charles E. Orr. Here's some scripture kind of back up what um, this writer was writing. In Psalms 66, verse 16, Come and hear, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 and 16. When Jesus came into the uh, coast of Caesarea, Pi <laughs> Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some say Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. In verse 15, Jesus asked this question. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And folks, this morning, this is our topic. Who is Jesus to you? What has Jesus done for you? What, what Jesus is to me is what um, Charles E. Orr is trying to answer with this hymn that he had written in 1907. Verse 1 says, and, and again I said this, but if you look at real carefully, I don't have information on Charles E. Orr. I don't know um, any background on when, as far as like um, what, how old he was when he wrote this hymn. Don't really know the background of why he wrote this. As we look past each one of these verses, it kind of tells me that you know he had just recently given his life to the Lord, perhaps, because he, the, each one of these verses is almost a testimony of, of what Jesus means to him and what it means to have salvation. And verse 1 says, I love to tell the story what Jesus means to me. My heart is filled with glory since through His grace I'm free. Verse 2, My life is full of sweetness. My heart is full of rest. I feel a blessed Com completeness while leaning on his breast. Verse 3, my life is blissful sunshine. No clouds overhang my way. All is joyous springtime, a bright and sunny day. Boy, it sounds like somebody's found Jesus. Verse 4 says, I live in blissful Eden, where flowers ever bloom. In pastures green I'm feeding. My life is free from gloom. Verse 5 of this hymn says, Some say there must be shadows. Each one dark days must see. But since I found the Savior of constant victory. And the Course says, I'm drinking at the fountain. My cup of joy o'erflows. I live upon the mountain. My heart no trouble knows. <clears throat> what he's speaking of, I no doubt, is when we accept Christ as our Savior, there is a peace that comes against that comes in us. And even the things of this world that comes against us cannot overcome the peace and the joy that Christ gives in our heart. 
and I come across this writing, and this is where we was interrupted, but I come across this writing and I found it interesting. The title of it is, What Jesus Is to Me. And let's see how many of, uh, of these examples that you can relate to. It says, Jesus is my advisor. Jesus is my advocate, my counselor that guides me into all truth. He is my all in all. He is my anchor that keeps me from drifting. He is my answer to life's problem. He is my armor against evil. He is my atoning sacrifice that freely justified me before a holy God and Father. Jesus is my awareness of the God I serve. Jesus is my banner. He is my baptizer in the Holy Spirit. He is my coach in life's race. He is my comforter in His arms. I feel no alarm. Jesus is my contentment, my consolation, my cornerstone. He is my defense, my deliverer, and my divine companion. What is Jesus to me? What is Jesus to you? Jesus is my encouragement, my example. He is my first love, my fountain of life. Jesus is my gospel and my guide. Jesus is my healer, my high priest, my hero. He is my intercessor, my inspiration. He is my joy of life. Jesus is my king. Jesus is my lifeline, my leader, my lamp that lights my path. He is my Lord. He is my master, my mediator, my mentor, my motivator, my message, my Messiah. Jesus is my nourishment. He is my overseer. He, Jesus is my overcoming power. My only hope. Jesus is my passion, my pilot, my portion, my provider, my purifier. He is my peace. Jesus is my redeemer, my refresher, my reconciler, my refuge, my reward, my resurrection, my righteousness. Praise the Lord. Jesus is is my risen Savior. Jesus is my sure foundation, my supplier, my strength, my song, my shepherd, my shelter, my, sh my shield, my safety. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my teacher, my trusted friend. He is my victory. Jesus is my way, my truth, and my life. Folks, that is what Jesus is to me. What is Jesus to you this morning? Is He your Savior? Is He your all in all? Or is, is He just a story? Is He just a song? Is He just a Sunday school story that you heard many years ago that really doesn't mean anything to you? Folks, listen. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross and, and, and washed away all your sins if you accept. If you accept what He done on Calvary for you. He is my risen Savior. He's my resurrection. He's my coming King. But what is Jesus to you? Again, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 15, Jesus said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answered in verse 16, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Who is Jesus to you today? I hope He's more than just a story. I hope He's more than just a song that you heard in Sunday school. I hope, I hope He's your personal Savior. Because He can be. Listen, thanks for watching. Lord willing, we'll be back on tomorrow with another devotion. Have a great day. God bless you all.